information on it? Yeah. Okay, so like let's say uh like Travis Scott, he's very popular. Mm -hmm. He was born on April 30th, 1991. So like, April 30th, 1991. Okay. So what what's the date you want me to give him? So the date he had like this big festival where a bunch of people died, like 10 or 11 people died and that was on 11 5 2021 11 5 2021 11 damn oh yeah you do have an 11 in there okay uh, so i can explain that uh travis scott is born 1991 the year of the goat the goat's enemy is the ox 2021 was an ox year so he would be in his enemy energy and that's why he got hit example uh every 12 years no matter who the fuck you are you got hit so uh nato was found in the ox year russia was found in the goat year they're at war through uh, the country of ukraine so again travis scott born 1991 goat gets uh hit in his enemy year 2021 this is normal stuff so is that why like is it was it 12 years ago that kanye west had got hit last uh kanye west uh, he was uh, Kanye, born. Kanye West's uh, mother died in his enemy year. Whoa. And he was born uh, 6-8, 1977. He is an 11 life path. Uh, Kanye has a whole bunch of charisma. Kanye starts with K. K is the 11 letter. Even though his name is Ye now, which is what the name he wants to go by. So again, I'm not trying to offend you, brother. But his former name was Kanye, and he's, uh, he used to be married to Kim. Kim, again, K. K is the 11 letter. Kanye, K. K is the 11 letter. He's an 11 life path, and that's why he made so much noise. Based on a year, you can tell if someone had like a very bad year in yes. their past. Yes. Okay, Yours so it would be 213. Now, hold on. When I met him, and I'm like super skeptical, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm that was actually a bad year. I, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I said, bro. He said, he said, oh, I'm actually good at this. He, first of all, he called me a dog. He's like, you're the dog, huh? Blah, blah, blah. Said 2012. Yeah, he said 2012 was the worst year of my life. And I was like, no. And I thought, and I'm like, oh my God, the one time in my life. I am not known for that. You could give me any drug. I don't get anxiety. I had panic attacks because I didn't have college and I moved construction bulk, uh, furniture for $10 an hour in debt, mad at my parents trying to fucking make it, leave the home and shit. And then I was like, I'll take my own life. This is the worst shit to ever happen. And then it got worse and worse. 2012 is the worst fucking year for me ever. And I've had years where I've been jump stabbing, uh, Everything happened, happened and so I dealt with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It happened last week. <laughs> so shades. But but when you nailed that 2012, did he get yours too? The worst year? Like it was definitely one of the It years. was definitely a very low year. I was the most lost that year. The same. He got my most. Like I had no like thought of like what my future was going to look like and the, what, so so again now you understand how i call travis scott how i was able to do that because that was his bad year just like i called yours and yours that happened to him so again travis scott if you're gonna watch this and, and again my videos usually get millions of views so there's just a chance he might uh and it hell zerk is here you're here that's definitely gonna make it happen so you're uh born in the year the goat 91 you got hit 19 uh 2021 year of the ox that's just the way things work Oxes and goats are enemy. See, this is common Wait, sense to me. Dude. I've been doing this for 20 fucking years. This is all common sense to me at this point. What's my enemy as a dog? Uh, that's a dragon. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah. A dog versus a dragon? This is unfair. What the? Give me the fucking goat. What the fuck? But hold on. <laughs> now, you're saying... What are the chances in that horrible year that's coming for me? I can flip it. I can change it. It's best to lay low. For real? Just sleep in? Uh, yeah, pretty much. So, like, don't try to do anything big. Like, yeah. let's say Agreed. an artist releases an album every two years, right? Mm -hmm. And you might want to that, skip his enemy year. So, skip that yeah, year, pretty much. I mean, there are people in uh, football history uh, who've done stuff like that. Like, for instance, Andrew Luck is born in 1989. He's a former uh, quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts. He's born in the Snake Year. Right before 2019 started, he he basically quit. He knew it was his enemy year. So can I give you some birth dates of other uh, like popular figures, like let's say certain rappers? Okay, go ahead. Just tell us stuff. About. Okay, so a uh, popular one obviously is Drake. He's uh, 
10, 24, 86. 10, 24, 1986. Uh, he's born in the year of the tiger. And tigers are really, really good at making noise. Uh, people who are tigers are the third sign. That's so, me. So, Let's so go. Just like threes talk. Tigers the third sign, so they talk. Examples of tigers: Andrew Tate. So again, it's more of a pussy guy. Uh, well, again, <laughs> uh, when it came down to it, uh, that guy uh, runs his mouth quite a bit. Uh, Tom Cruise, another tiger. So when it comes down to people who are born in tiger years, they tend to have a more of a um, aggressive attitude toward the establishment. Even if you look at all of Tom Cruise's movies, he's always, you know, going against the system. Yeah, he was against Big Pharma mm -hmm. and Needles, always, exactly. remember, in the beginning? And very yeah. so. But hey, Andrew Tate, as much as he's against the system, mm -hmm. he didn't JQ once. They said, they said, who controls the world? And he said, it's not about who. Let's he, not talk he, about he, that. It's about what? He, he, How's that against the system? He, he said he didn't care if he had a gay son. Um, no that, way. That, when that, the fuck did he say that? He said he didn't care if he had a gay son. Uh, not only him, uh, that guy Waller said the same thing. What, recent? Yeah, I'll, I'll show it to you. Well, these guys are controlled so, 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 offs, so, bro. So, so, so again, I, I, if, if you're a Muslim and you hear shit like that, that's kind of haram, ain't it? That's, I mean, that's, that's kind of yeah, haram. I think that's very. I think no, that's I think very. a Muslim only fans manager. I think that's the haram part. <laughs> I think for Drake. He's not like as loud, but he has always bucked against the system, even though it seemed like everything was in his favor. A common theme he would have in his music is, you know, like they're trying to hold me back. These people are against me. And in the beginning, he did have a lot of people against him because of the music that he was putting out in the early days. So that kind of does line up. Yeah. Um, listen, anyone at that level is going to have someone controlling them to a point. But as he was coming up, it, it should more represent his energy. Once he actually gets there, you start to understand, you know, people control you. Like, for instance, Will Smith. Uh, yeah, his his woman was basically fucking their son's best friend. And then she took him on the podcast and told that bitch ass dude that, you know, she had an entanglement. I mean, <laughs> you talk about a beta male. That that's something else, bro. Hey, that guy saved us on Independence Day. Okay, mm -hmm. so what was he that? Saved us from the aliens. So is that guy's like number coincide with that level of behavior, or do they not match? Or is I, 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 well, well, they I don't think they ever matched. I mean, Jada Pinkett Smith has always been a whore. Uh, you know, she always wanted to be with Tupac. She's born in the year of the pig. Tupac's born in the year of the pig. That's she had that connection. Once Tupac died, I don't think she ever loved another man. That's who she loved. And Will Smith admits this. You know, so uh, again, when you marry a woman who's still infatuated and martyred another man in her mind, she's never going to form that close connection with you. So, of course, she's going to cheat on you. My God. So this what is if the, Will Smith sees this one? So this was Will Smith. You don't want fault. the money from Will? Oh, fuck him. Yeah. So this was his fault that he Will, didn't choose properly. What if Will yeah, wanted course. a reading? Wait, 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 wait. I, I've done way bigger people than Will Smith. He's like, you're a cuck. I, I, I don't get readings. I, I, I've done way bigger people than Will Smith. I am not worried about Will Smith. Will Smith, if you're watching this, um, you, I mean, listen. You're pathetic. <laughs> you're, you're fucking bro, you, pathetic, Your TikToks bro. are big. You, you, you allow another man to sleep with your woman. A boy. And, and, and not only that, this is your son's best friend. So someone came over for a sleepover and they happened to bang <laughs> your fucking life. You bitch ass <laughs> nigga. There you go. Hey, my handler's correct. Listen, I know all the celebrities who DM him, right? He doesn't go in detail, but I know, we know, like we're close. And the interesting thing about this is you take on a bunch of people that you don't really respect, but if they've crossed the line into hyper cuckhood, no matter how much money they have, he'll say it live on a podcast or he'd fucking vlog cool, or whatever. Man. He'll say, nah, bro, I'm this cool. is fucking disgusting. I got my For bag. Will Smith, he'll say, that's the most money in the game. The fuck are you a fuck about? He's Will got all Smith. these celebrities. I, Will's huge. Dude, dude, I talked to three people this week in Dubai who have more money than Will Smith. What the yeah, fuck I, I give a fuck I, about him. I didn't for? believe him until I saw the billionaires, what and then the I'm like, fuck oh, I give a fuck we're about rolling Will with billionaires. What the fuck I give a fuck about Will Smith? No, nah, motherfucker, I don't want. As a matter of fact, I don't want any man around me who fucking allows his wife to be fucked. 
I don't want any man like that around me. I don't want because that, is that dude gonna have your back? If someone fucking comes and says, "Yo, what's up?" and it's about to go down, yeah. is that dude gonna have your back? Hell no. So can I give you two uh, other dates? Which, um, uh, for example, there is this guy who's currently on a murder trial where he's facing the death penalty. Uh, this rapper Y N W Melly, he was born on May first, nineteen ninety nine. And what he's being tried for is the double murder of his two best friends, which happened on the night of October 26th, 2018. October 26th, 2018. So 2018 is an 11 day. So there we have the emotional event. And give me this guy's birthday one more time. May 5-1, 1st. 1999. Yeah. yeah. Well, 5-1 also happens to be the day the Illuminati was founded. And that could be either, like, he dies or he goes to prison forever. Yeah, or... pretty much. Okay. So um, I want to do another one, just, like, personality, not, like, linking it okay. to two. So very, very popular, bombastic personality, really, within uh, hip-hop is Joe Budden. He was born. He's a 33. Is he? I think. Give me his birthday. I think I uh, talked to him before. Uh, 8 1980. No, no. 831. I, I'm trying to think if this is the guy. Are you thinking I, I of Charlemagne? Thinking, no, I know who Charlemagne is. Um, I'm not talking about him. Okay. So um, 831. Hard ass worker. That's the first thing. Has he been knocked a few times? Like beat the, up? You know, not just beat up, but, but by the law. Are, are they going he's, after this guy? Yeah, they've like okay, hit so, pieces so, and stuff. So, yeah. so he's born on the 31st. Three and one is four. Four is the number of law and order. So people born on the 4th, 13th, 31st can't really do dirt like that. So that's the first thing. Uh, second, he's also a three-life path like your boy over here, Zerka. So probably a very, very loud motherfucker. Yes. He probably likes to verbally abuse people like him. Uh, if you're talking about personality, probably matches this guy. Uh, the, the, the difference is uh, this guy's pretty much a little bit more... Um, In the moment, and that guy is more planning how to do things. Um, that that's what I would say the major difference. But again, good mouthpiece runs his mouth, verbally abuses people. So again, a lot of the same personality. He is a podcaster, yeah. yeah. So a, a lot of podcasters are threes. Uh, Rolo Tomasi's a three. Um, uh, Crowder is a three. Uh, yeah, again, we talked about the people in the past who were born on the third, twelfth, twenty-first, or thirtieth. So, again, a lot of the best podcasters are threes. That's why I keep saying this dude would be very good at this stuff. And that's why he is. Uh, Crowder, I mean, hell, there he was offered $50 million. He's very good at what he does. Now, the reason he's so hot right now is he's a cat, and this is a cat year. Okay. Just, well, just like, for instance, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, John Jones. Do you know who John Jones is? Yeah, a fighter. Okay. So, John Jones is born 1987, the year the cat. He became the youngest UFC champion ever at the time on 2011, the year of the cat. In 2017, his enemy year, they stripped his ass of the title. He never lost the fight, but they stripped his ass of the title. And then in 2023, year of the cat, gets his title back. See how that works? <laughs> I mean, that's a lot. Of, that's stacking a lot of coincidences. And again, like people can call this cherry picking. People can, and, and remember, some people are NPCs. So no matter what you tell them, it doesn't matter. No, for me, yeah. it's like once it gets to too many coincidences, yeah. then I'm like, all right, because like you're you're hitting me with a lot. So I'm just like, damn, like you can't there can't be this many coincidences this frequently, especially the way you're Not pulling possible. it out. And you are giving like accurate bios on these guys that you, you don't, don't even I, really know. I don't, them. I don't really. I don't need to know. Them. I don't need but uh, uh, whatever space I go in, I'll dominate. Okay, there's uh, another, he's a, uh, okay, I won't even give you information on this guy. Uh, his name is DJ Vlad. He was born 6-28-1973. Is this the dude who, does, the white dude who does the stuff on YouTube? Yeah. Okay, so I know who he is. So that's not really fair. Um, but he's born on the 28th? Yes. Does he have a big bag? Very big. Okay, so 20th number of wealth. Remember we talked about that before? Yeah, the billionaire. So does that make, make sense why he has a big bag, why it comes to him easier than it does the most in his position? Yeah, and he does. He was one of the people that even at his size, he monetized and found ways to mm -hmm. monetize better than everyone, everyone else. else. 
That's exactly what I would expect of a 28. Um, I would also say he's uh, um, kind of ruthless with his space. He won't let anyone in. Um, in a way. So, like, he'll give people advice, but he's very um, ruthless with his content. Yeah, so yeah. if anybody uses, like, even a 15-second clip, like, uh -huh. let's say on Instagram, he'll uh -huh. take it down. He's like, you, you, can't, you can't use my content at all. It's centralized in this I, place. I disagree with that. I disagree with that philosophy. Me too. I, want, I want people to know this. I got 500 million views. Whatever content I have out there, feel free to copy, paste, and do whatever the fuck you want. I, I do not. I think it's. I think it's more important to get yourself out there. If people want to copy, like, uh, there's some people I talked to before, and they're like, "Man, that they, they got better views with the same video that I created than I did." I'm like, "What are you mad about? I still saw you." Yeah. As long as it's you, what do you care? What do you care? As a matter of fact, you should actually give people incentives to do stuff like that. Like I do. How do you do that? Uh, I have something called GG33 Academy. Mm -hmm. um, it's my secondary school. One requires a non-disclosure. One requires you to pass an interview. Again, I won't just take your money. You got to pass the interview. You got to meet certain requirements for me to even teach you. Because that's one of the benefits of having a bag already. That's one of the benefits of having billionaires that I can actually say no to people because I don't need your money. So that, that's one. Some people are slaves to money, and they will let a, someone who's a bad apple in just to get their money, knowing that cancer will spread. No, not not with my group. So um, the main group requires non disclosure, all that good stuff. The secondary group, a lot cheaper, ninety eight bucks a month, and I have some of my best teachers in there. Uh, people who teach tarot, best of the best. People who teach numerology, astrology, yoga, kundalini, everything you can think of when it comes to the occult is being taught in GG33 Academy. And one of the things I do is I give people an affiliate link. If you want to go out there and make videos of stuff like this, and you know how well the videos have done, yeah. and uh, you want to be an affiliate, I'll give you a cut. And that's how it works. That's how capitalism works.